Hi, and welcome back to voiceoverview.com. I'm Danny States, a voice actor and co-founder of voiceoverview.com, along with my partner, Joe Davis, of Voice Actor Websites. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a contact. There are two ways to do it. Both are quick and simple, so let's get started. When you log in as a new user, you'll see your dashboard. Now, since you haven't entered any data yet, it'll look a little empty, <laughs> but don't worry, that will change quickly. As I mentioned, there are two ways to add a contact. Let's start with adding a contact from the contact book menu. You might do this if you're entering a few contacts at one time, or if you've made a new contact and haven't yet booked a job with them, but want to keep track of them and follow up later. From the contact book menu, select Add a new contact. This will take you to the contact form. Adding a new contact has just four required fields, company, first and last name, and email address. Starting with company, type in the company name. You'll see a blue bar show up right below with Create Company Name. Click on that, and the company's created. Now going forward, if you have other contacts from the same company, you'll just select that company from a drop-down list that will appear in the same spot. Next, add first and last name and email address. The email address is the unique identifier for each contact, so it's super important. Now here's the deal. If you're not into keeping detailed records, great. Fill out these four fields, click Save Contact, and you're done. If you do want to save a bit more information about the contact, you can add it in the next data column, starting with Country. Our drop-down list includes every country, because you never know where your next job's coming from, right? Then complete the address info. The state list will populate based on the country you select. Add the website, if you'd like, and any notes that you might have about this contact, how you found them, when you reached out, stuff like that. Again, all of these fields are optional, so if you don't want to add anything besides the four required fields, you don't have to. Click Save Contact. Other info that you might find useful and want to add are included in the extra tabs for each contact. Social media allows you to include any of their social media sites. Connection detail keeps track of how you can connect for directed sessions. And notes? Well, they're notes. The most recent note is at the top, and you can add new notes as you like. Or you can simply edit the existing note and keep everything on one note card. As always, do whatever works for you and how you want to keep track of and manage your contacts. Click Save Contact. And now you can see that all of Wendy's information is there, including the note that you captured. So now let's do a quick contact ad right from a new job. From the Jobs drop-down menu, select Add a new job. Enter the information about the job, the title, category, end client, fee, and status. If you want more information on how to add a job, we have a video for that too. This job is for a new contact, so under Who Hired You, type in your contact's name. Since the contact doesn't yet exist in your database, you'll be prompted to Create Client Name. Click on the blue bar. If the contact is with a company that you already have in your system, select the company from the Company Name drop-down menu. If not, type in the company name and click Create Company Name in the blue bar, and the company's created. The contact name is already auto-filled, so just add their email address and click Save Contact. You'll be dropped right back into the Add a Job form, and the contact's now there, and you can complete the form and save the job. If you want to add more information about the contact after you've saved the job, you can click on the contact's name in the Saved Job, and that will take you to the contact form. Click Edit and fill in any additional information that you'd like for that contact. Again, that's totally optional, depending on how you want to manage your contacts. One question that occasionally comes up what if I don't have my contact's email address? No problem. Each contact does require a unique email address because it's the unique identifier for that contact. So what we suggest is creating a fake contact email address. Yeah, literally, name at fakecontact.com. We suggest using the same fakecontact.com for any client that you don't have an email address for. So when you get their email address, you'll be able to quickly locate them by typing fake in the search bar. Click on the Edit Pencil and make the required changes. So that's it. Enter four fields of data and you can add a contact in seconds. And we'll talk about what you can do with those contacts in a future video about how to easily manage and stay connected with your contacts using the Voice Overview Reminders. Thank you so much for being part of the Voice Overview community. 
Check out our other videos on adding jobs, tracking auditions, and understanding your dashboard metrics. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at voiceoverview.com or send us a message through the feedback tab on the website. Thanks for using voiceoverview.com, your voiceover business made simple.